Daikon in town. Oh, but wait. I now believe this was the motorcade on the way to pick him up from Stansted. However, sentiment still very much stands middle finger still proudly raised at his rotten administration and everything he represents. So basically, you flipped off Melania's suitcases and some low-paid drivers who were just trying to do their job. Trump wasn't even in the car. <laughs> Not all heroes wear capes. Look at this Amnesty International idiot. So we've just unveiled a giant uh, 15 by 3 meter uh, banner on Vauxhall Bridge facing the new US Embassy. Yeah, it's so giant that nobody can even tell what it says and it can't even be seen from the US Embassy. Well done, mate. Bravo! It's about as giant as the size of these anti-Trump protests in Regent's Park and outside Blenheim Palace and Downing Street where one person showed up and asked where everyone else was. It was about as loud as the sound coming out of this protester's pathetic plastic whistle. You want to keep him up all night? Yes. <laughs> you need to be a bit noisier than that. Uh, uh... <laughs> The carnival about to begin, folks. Believe me, it's going to be huge. I don't believe you. Protesters in the UK have rallied to make Green Day's 2004 hit song American Idiot top singles charts ahead of President Trump's first official visit. American Idiot lyrics analysis. And can you hear the sound of hysteria? One nation controlled by the media. Yeah, sounds like those lyrics were written by Trump. So you got a song to number one that talks about a hysterical media controlling the nation with propaganda, which is Trump's main talking point at every single rally he attends. The dishonest media. Fake news. Well done, idiots. Crappy UK company tries to get free publicity with anti-Trump virtue signaling. Backfires horribly. We can make a hundred of these baby Trump UK visit balloons. Will you buy them? Well, judging by the responses to this, this tweet, no one's buying anything from you ever again. So why are you all protesting Trump's visit to the UK? Because I'm literally a communist. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Did you find Obama deporting three million people unconscionable? You yes. spit up many families. Yes, I did. Was, and that's why and that's why I Where also was your protest and march against I, that and, when he came to the country? And that's country? why I also protest. If you protest, feel so strongly and about that's why it, I also Ash, protest where was your protest march against Obama? In this if you found as that well. unconscionable too, where was the march? To. And that's why 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 I'm literally a Communist. Are you protesting because Trump's a misogynist? Because he said grab them by the pussy 13 years ago. Right, so you must have been up in arms about the arrival of Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman to the UK on a state visit. A man who oversees a regime under which women need male guardian approval to travel or open a bank account. A regime under which women are imprisoned and tortured for not wearing a hijab. A regime which is ranked 141 out of 144 for women's rights. A man who oversees a regime that bombs women and children in Yemen. You must have packed the streets for his arrival, right? <coughs> Are you protesting because you think Trump's anti-media rhetoric represents a threat to the free press? Right, so you must have been up in arms about the arrival of Turkish President Erdogan to the UK on a state visit. An Islamist dictator who oversees a regime that imprisons more journalists than any other country. A man who, before he even left London on his last visit, called those imprisoned journalists terrorists. A man who has eliminated over 100 media outlets by decree since 2016. A man whose goons beat up protesters in Washington, D.C. You must have packed the streets for his arrival, right? <laughs> Are you protesting because you think Trump's literally Hitler and is trying to impose a dictatorship? Right, so you must have been up in arms about the arrival of Chinese President Xi Jinping to the UK on a state visit. A man who is trying to set himself up as dictator for life by abolishing presidential term limits. A man who has spent the last five years jailing his political rivals and enacting a brutal crackdown on dissent. A man whose actions have stirred fears from survivors of Mao's genocide that another one could be just around the corner. You must have packed the streets for his arrival, right? <laughs> Look, I'm not talking about the sparse numbers of people who actually did protest any of these visits. I'm talking about the tens of thousands of people who are going to protest Trump this weekend, who sat on their arse, said and did nothing when actual dictators came to town. Listen, we all know why you're really protesting. You bring along your picnic hampers, you make a day of it, you get your nice little Instagram photos. It's all one big, smug, sanctimonious, middle-class virtue signalling shit. Show. Case in point, the activist behind the Trump baby balloon owns a £1.8 million townhouse in London and comes from a super rich political family. Yet Owen Jones has the nerve to claim that the balloon is in the tradition of anti-establishment satire. It is in the proud 
history of anti-establishment satire. Because it's really anti-establishment to get the swift approval of the political establishment, isn't it? It's really anti-establishment for some plummy trust fund activist who went to the right school. To be able to pull the right strings and get round the clock establishment media coverage. That's so anti-establishment. Oh, and by the way, we raised more money for the Sadiq Khan baby balloon in three days than you raised in 30. Without the need for daddy's political connections and an endless supply of free publicity. God, you're still going on about the balloon. Yeah. Well, well, could you ask think... me about the balloon? Don't wow, ask me wow, about the wow, balloon. Wow. These are the real the snowflakes, right. aren't enough, they? The enough. real snowflakes. They're easily offended snowflakes. They go on about the left being triggered, not having a, a sense of humour, oh, uh, infringing on freedom of expression. Oh, then this balloon, the balloon of, of, of Trump and some nappies goes up and look at them. They have a massive temper tantrum. It's embarrassing. Owen Jones accusing other people of having temper tantrums on television. Wait, hang on a minute. I've, I've had enough of this. Let me go home. Oh, in, no genuinely. Way. We're trying to have a civilised conversation. I, I, I know you're upset. You are yeah, upset. I am. I'm, and very upset. I'm, I'm quite upset. right. Everyone's upset and angry about this, but storming off a TV Sorry. set. <laughs> also, stop trying to make out that you represent the majority of Brits. You don't. The latest poll shows that 50% of Brits think Trump's visit should go ahead versus 37% who wanted it cancelled. You're in the minority. I think they like me a lot in the UK. So I'm confident that I speak on behalf of all sane and rational people in my country, minus the pious, pedantic, crybaby, lefty hypocrites. When I say, Mr. President, welcome to the United Kingdom. Please click the big red button to subscribe, it really helps me when you do that, and click the bell to allow notifications so you never miss a new video. Survival Shield X2 Nascent Iodine. If you're interested in healthy thyroid, if you're interested